whoa, <laughs> yes, they finally fixed theater mode after five days, five long days without theater mode because some douchebag found some kind of glitch in the theater mode where you can prestige, which that's not even a factor, that's a non-factor. Was that even important enough to take theater mode out for five days because of some glitch where you could prestige inside theater mode? <laughs> Like prestige is overrated anyway. It's like twenty percent skill, eighty percent. You know you have too much time in your hand. Meaning, you can be a ten prestige, but you still suck at the game. I mean, it doesn't even matter about prestige. So why would you take the mode out? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But this here's the killer part. This is what hurts my nerve. They took the mode out. You know, like I said, for this glitch about the prestige. But then when they put it back up today. They didn't face none of the issues. Like you can't see the final score, the final uh, kill count, ever, in the kill count, in dinner mode. You can never see that. If you ever notice, like when you get your score streets up, uh, your guy just with his laptop out, just sitting there looking stupid. You can you can never see that. <laughs> you can never see what he's doing. The, the, the little things, the little bugs they have in the dinner mode, they never address. But they're gonna address the the guy prestiging. In theater mode, blah blah blah. Uh, but anyway, forget about that. Let's get into this gameplay. This thing, this gameplay is this, uh, this gameplay is crazy. As I went 35 and five, uh, 34 and five with 11 captures and 7 defense, 34 kills, five deaths, 11 captures, 7 defense, and people say they're Mr. PTFO? No, I am Mr. I'm the original Mr. PTFO. Mr. Play the F word objective. Mr. Domination. I've been calling myself that since Modern Warfare 2. Go back to my videos and I've been calling myself that since Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> and I have stats to prove it. Some people, aka Green Goblin, hey guys, just the Green Goblins. I have 115 um, kills just playing the objective with only three three caps, five defense, but I have 170, 117 with double swarms. That's, <laughs> how's you playing the objective? When you got in domination, you, you're only capping the first flag when you spawn. You probably got. Went to cap B, and you, you only got three caps on the internet. 115 double swarm. Oh, this guy's retarded. But <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. That's just me. Where I have actual footage of me, because who can get 11 captures and still put up? Uh, that's a. This is a 4KD in this game. The 4KD in this game it put up 11 caps, 70 fans. I, I just. That's just me. Playing objective, this is what I do though. But a lot of people who see objectively playing styles, and it's different from everybody else playing styles. But that's not what I want to talk about though. What I want to talk about is I will actually look out for my new series. It's going to be called um, First Round Massacre, and it's not going to be. It's going to be me showing you footages of first round massacre I'm just going crazy in the first round you see the first round right now I'm 16 and 0 and, um, and then that it's not going to be just me and I want it's going to be me interacting with the YouTube community so I want y'all to do is uh, you know first you know first of all subscribe if you haven't subscribed already send me your first round footage either via email or via leaving it on your page and put it in listen it as unlisted and then send me as the link and uh, if I like it and then I would feature it on my page. And this is me, my way of interacting with my subscribers, interacting with the YouTube community. You know, I just want to see, because I enjoy just going ham in the first round. I mean, the first round to me is crucial, and domination is crucial. Um, so I want to see this footage, because like I said, I, I find, I call myself Mr. PTFO. But even if you're not playing there for the objective, or you, you just had a good first round, I would like to see it, and I will, I will post it on my on my channel. Or feature it on my channel, you and my channel. So um, let's get that rolling. Um, I'm gonna leave my email address in the description. Bink, bink, bink! Get out that window, pussy! <laughs> What's wrong with these guys? Just all in the window, just tweaking. And I had to get I had to get that payback kill because this could have been a double dog, a double K9 unit gameplay. But one of them guys that window killed me. All some bogus BS, but. 
it is on the it is what it is with that. It's card. It's Call of Duty for you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> but um my gripe about the Call of Duty not not even just for Call of Duty, my my gripe about Black Ops 2 it's not it's it's really not a fun factor for me. I really don't see myself playing this game past New Year's. I will be surprised if I'm still playing this game January first, two thousand thirteen. Why? Simply because, like I say, it's just too much. The, I, the the players in this game gets on my nerves. The, the the elements in this game gets on my nerves, and it's not fun. Modern Warfare Three. A lot of people hate Modern Warfare Three, but at the same time, I found myself playing Modern Warfare Three for the year, for for its entirety, from release date. All the way to Black Ops 2 came out. I found myself playing Modern Warfare 3. Uh, yeah, Modern Warfare 3 had its problems. Yeah, Modern Warfare 3, yo, know, was BS at times. But it was still fun to play. I was addicted to them. I'm still addicted to all Infinity World games. But we get to try out Triarch. The original Black Ops, I played that game for two months straight and then traded it in. Went back to Modern Warfare 2 and then played Modern Warfare 2 for a while and then played some other games. <laughs> the original Black Ops was just dull. The the weapons, the maps, everything about Black Ops is just dull. It's like, it was nothing fun. It was nothing fun. Like, coming from then, I'm not going to even say that. But anyway, but then we got to Black Ops 2. Let me explain myself. Like, if you go to story mode, which I'm finally doing, I'm play, actually playing story mode on veteran because I really don't believe in playing in normal and then playing to go get the intel and then playing on veteran and then playing on harden. That's just, just too much. That's just too much. And, and I'm, I'm just sick and tired of that shit. So I'm just playing on veteran and be done with it. <laughs> and um, story mode is just boring, man. The story mode, it looks good visually. The graphics is awesome. I have no complaints with that. Some of the parts, some of the scenes in um, Black Ops 2 was good. It's kind of fun. The guy when you got the when you was inter- you was interrogating the guy and you finna shoot him and you got kept tapping X to resist for not shooting him. That was cool. You know they had a lot of cool points in that, but for the most part, it, it, it's just boring, man. Like, I can't see myself playing. It story mode for a couple of hours. I could play for a mess of one hour and just stop playing. Like, you just going back to uh, uh, either turn, turn the game off or going back to the multiplayer. But speaking of multiplayer, it's just too much too much elements in this game that ruin it for me. That's why, like, COD 4 was yet so simple, but it's the best game, best Call of Duty game ever. Why? It was just simple. It was no extra. It was all about your guns. You didn't need no perks, no no extra shit. You didn't need all that. Call four was just basic three, five, seven kill streaks, and it was all about your guns, your gun skill, one on one gunfight. It seems like ever since then, ever since Modern Warfare Two, Black Ops, World of War, and it took a step back. And you know you need extra gimmicks, like in Black Ops, you need extra gimmicks to make yourself look good and shit that we don't even need, i.e. sensor grenades. Do we need sensor grenades? Oh, you can throw a sensor grenade just like a mini UAV. That's that's dumb. Do we need that? Do we need shot grenades? Really? Do we really need shot grenades in this game? Hell the hell no. Do we need a viewfinder? Do you really need a viewfinder in this game? Like, for people who, who can't get no aim, and you get a TV that highlights your whole frame to make it easy for you to shoot? Do we really need this shit in this game? We don't need this shit in this game. Y'all taking a step back, y'all getting away from gun on gun skill, and you putting all this extra gimmicks in here. It, it, it makes the, the beast players a COD worse and the worst player is good that's crazy that's a crazy concept I don't understand it Robert Boyne was an asshole for doing it David Von Hart is an asshole for doing it also we don't need this extra bullshit in the game to take it out we don't need it so that's just me that's just my gripe on it um, I, I don't know it's just frustrating sometimes and then the sound 
everybody knows I'm a good sound. I'm, I'm, I'm just a gadget man. The sound of this game is just watered down, drowned out bullshit. Modern Warfare 3 had my speakers going nuts to have to jump it out of its box because the sound was good. Black Ops is all drowned it out with bottoms out. All the score streets sound like you're either farting or you're either dragging a chair across a hardwood floor. That's the best possible sound I could come up with. Kill the sound engineer. Kill the sound engineer. Off with his head. I see my P balls. 34 kills, 5 deaths, 11 captures, 7 defense.